Hello everybody, welcome again to Emily's Cupboard. I just want to thank you for taking the time to take a look at my video. This is my fall mantle decor part two and today I am videoing the uh, fireplace and the mantle that's in my sitting room downstairs in my home and um, just wanted to go over some items that I have. This is a fireplace, it's just an electric fireplace, but we fell in love with it and we decided that we were going to put it in the sitting room and it would just make a nice, nice cozy place for me to read a book, have a cup of tea, have some quiet time. And um, I just wanted to go over the, um, first of all, we'll start with the mantle. The mantle I just took, well, actually, I had this picture upstairs that I thought, this is such a nice, pretty fall picture, and it would make a really good backdrop for a mantle display. And so I switched that out real fast, and sure enough, it just went really good, uh, especially against my walls. I made the flower arrangement this afternoon. I just put one of my brick plates, put some foliage, used my chicken wire little, um, I guess they're kind of candle holders. I could use them for anything. I have used them for anything, but they made a real cute display, just putting a couple candle, a couple of candles in them. And I have this cute little rooster guy here, fit real good in with the theme. Um, just added some fun things down here. It's not so big of a fireplace, but this is not a very big room. Um, my little bench I've had, I just put a fall uh, basket here. Had this by my other mantle and I decided, you know what? It displays a lot better in here because it's more of an open space. I have a wall hanging that went real good with the fall decor. Over here is my lamp, another little fall decor little area, and my screen that has the word Antoinette on it, which I just love because that's the name of my sister who passed away about eight years ago. And we had the screen right after she passed, so it was a good memory for me. Um, on my buffet over here, I also put a little bit of fall foliage. And one of the things that I just think is so sweet, along <laughs> that goes along with my little screen divider is my sister's baby shoe that my mom had bronzed. And years ago, that's what they did with baby shoes. I'm sure that some of you that are old enough to remember, you probably might have some of your bronzed baby shoes. But there it says, it says Antoinette 1940. So I really treasure that. And I put it in here because it goes with the screen and I just made a really nice little memory place for her. Um, in this room, there is also an antique uh, dresser and I use it many, many mornings to put on my makeup. So this is a very functional room and I have enjoyed it so much. There was a time that we used it for uh, a dining room table, that didn't work out. We had a baby grand piano in here. It didn't work out, <laughs> um, which we had given then to my niece who teaches piano. And so um, this room has been used for a lot of different things, but it has been very functional. And I just love the way that it decorated for fall, especially if I can just have you take one more look at that beautiful fireplace. It lights up, it's very warm and cozy in here, especially on a cool morning or a cozy evening. And I really, really enjoy the way that it decorated up for fall. And I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would welcome you, I would welcome the opportunity um, to have you a part of my YouTube family um, and to become a subscriber. 
Uh, also to hit that little bell that will give you notifications of the other videos that I will be posting. Um, thank you again for watching. There will be a part three to my fall decor. One more uh, of my fireplace mantles that we have upstairs. We have another electric fireplace upstairs. And so I hope to get that posted and you can tell I just love decorating for fall. I just want to thank you again for watching my video. If you have not subscribed, I would welcome you to subscribe to my video. Be sure and hit that bell so you'll be notified of my upcoming videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, I would ask that you would even share with your friends to take a look at my channel. And until then, I just thank you again and you have a wonderful day and God bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye.